I don't remember where we left off. Oh yeah, the pilot. The pilot. What about the pilot? I don't remember about the pilot. Uh, Magnuson called us and told us that a pilot was going to come pick us up and bring us to the Borealis because Alex is still sad and we can't wait any longer. So, he brought us a Boeing 747? Yeah. They have those in the future? I guess. That is in pristine condition given, you know, everything else. <laughs> wow, they gotta like polish that thing every week. Look at all these planes! Oh my gosh, they got a whole airport Wait, what here! what is that beetle? This way, Gordon! Barney, what? What? <laughs> He's going in with a flying street sweeper. I know, it's like a, it's like golf cart speed. <laughs> We're going to the Borealis, Gordon, get in. <laughs> he looks so dead <laughs> inside. <laughs> Dude, he talked <laughs> twice at the same time. <laughs> His head did not move when he left. <laughs> he didn't move, period. That plane just disappeared from plane sight. Alright, well, we're going at about. Uh, Why two are we miles flying diagonally? <laughs> it's the most objectively optimal to get to the Borealis. <laughs> flying like 6,000 miles diagonally. Hey, man, we're in Russia, right? Uh, I think so. Hey, that's kind of close to the North Pole. <laughs> we're, what's it going to take us so long? <laughs> <laughs> and why is it going to show the entire journey? Well, he has wind resistance, okay? It's a lot slower than a golf cart. At least there's friction on the ground with tires, but this is just gravity. <laughs> oh, now we're moving. Wait, who's that? Slightly faster. Wait a minute. <laughs> is that's not Barney anymore? Yeah, no, that looked like Jeffrey with like a a track suit. <laughs> Cheeky freaky. Shut up! <laughs> I told you we're in Russia. Oh, look, it's snowing now. We're yeah. almost there. Why did we stop at a gas station? The lack of dialogue and oh, like there they go. eyeless entities and the creepy music in the background just makes this more unsettling than anything else. I feel like we've been recording for an hour already. <laughs> of this one cutscene. We've been recording for maybe 10 minutes. <laughs> I, f I feel like we're watching surreal entertainment. Yeah, that's exactly what this feels like. <laughs> That train just materialized onto the track. I think the Combine finally nailed local teleportation if they're able to teleport their trains. Change is in the air. When this is all over, I'm... Oh, God. How did <laughs> you not see that coming? It was very apparent in the over-the-shoulder shot. Was he not sitting in his chair? Gordon moved him. The door's locked, move on to the next one. This is a cool stealth mission. Don't mess this up. They still don't know I'm here.
That was a long walk. He got to he got to take a breath. <laughs> Oh no, one guy. We needed a cutscene for that. <laughs> the team poses in the doorway. Walking through this. Oh my god. Oh wow, it... they're lined up in an absolute formation. Collat. Ah, oh, it didn't work. They had so much time to react to that, and they Cat like only... reflexes. <laughs> <laughs> Who he slid. He slidey well, yeah, though. He was run over by his buddy in the car. <laughs> was he actually ran over? I thought I just shot him. He, did you not see the car driving away? <laughs> Oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> Why are the combine so? Deserve. The combine are so freaking stupid. Crashes at like two miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Drives straight towards wall. Has plenty of time to turn. This is why you don't text and drive, hour. kids. Even if you're going two miles an hour, you will crash and it will lead to several explosions. <laughs> several. Look at what happened to this poor chap. Between two and twelve. <laughs> Get no scope. <laughs> there's so oh. many there's so many things wrong with what I just said. First of all, I wasn't using a sniper rifle. Second of all, I missed. <laughs> Why can I go back here? There's nothing here. What? Excellent work. <laughs> we forgot to kill the, the thing. <laughs> this just makes Gordon look really cool. <laughs> he just doesn't give a crap. But you see, this isn't supposed to be happening because we were supposed to kill the tank. Initializing cyberspace environment. Yeah, I'd call that a cyberspace environment. Oh, we're driving to Grandma's house. No, don't say that. <laughs> Here we go. Is that supposed to happen? Yeah. Gordon's just wrecking it. Gordon apparently sounds like every male citizen in the entire game. <laughs> Gordon voice reveal. <laughs> Literally just the Han Solo whoop. <laughs> no, that's more of a yeah! <laughs> he just cut out. Yeah. Discord doesn't like it when I do impressions. He sleep. We have kill cams now. <laughs> it's cold. It's snowy. I'm lost. The snow is about eight feet deep. I cannot find my internal heating suit. My helmet is doesn't exist on the HEV suit. And I only got a few minutes left before Alex dies from sadness. Oh gosh, somebody Is that a spine or a or a kneecap? I can't exactly tell. I thought hmm. Is that is that wait, turn your flashlight off. Okay, never mind. Turn it back on. If you turn the flashlight off, it looks like those three asparagus guys from Veggie Tales. <laughs> Allow us to introduce ourselves. Yes. <laughs> those guys. All right, let's let's go, Strider Leg. I don't know yeah, about okay. you, but for the 2020 election, I'm voting for Strider Leg. 
Um, I, I, I swear, I'm voting for George Bush. <laughs> George Bush. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say George Lucas. George Lucas runs for president. Oh my gosh, that would be a disaster. <laughs> I can't tell if you're screaming because of the extremely random blue light, or if you're screaming at the thought of George Lucas running the country. Both! <laughs> I mean, he'd only be a good president if he had his wife to help fix all the problems. <laughs> but he divorced her, didn't he? Yeah, I think specifically she divorced him because he was he's apparently a terrible husband. <laughs> like, after after she single-handedly saved Star Wars... She couldn't single-handedly save the marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't gonna say that! It's a two-way street, George! <laughs> <laughs> I can't do all the work. Apparently, like, he said that the job she did on it was, like, just okay. I'm like, he created one... Of, like, she basically created one of the most beloved Star Wars scenes of all time. <laughs> in the Death Star Trench run, and you're like, uh, yeah, it's okay. As you count your hundreds of dollars in your room full of gold on Skywalker Ranch. Does he actually own cows on his ranch? I'm not even sure. Fake ranch. Well, well, it'd make it a fake ranch is if he didn't have uh, Dr. Phil uh, contestants, <laughs> contestants, patients. <laughs> There's just a bunch of Dr. Phil contestants living in his house. <laughs> when you said Dr. Phil contestants, I imagined a bunch of people like <laughs> prototypes of Dr. Phil. That, <laughs> like, <laughs> Are you what? implying Dr. Phil's an android <laughs> and they made multiple prototypes until they settled on the one that's, we have to <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. There's just like ever so slight differences between them but they're enough to make it like you know this is not dr phil there's like overtly positive dr phil with no mustache <laughs> all right your turn hold on i'll be right back i'm back and i have salad What? <laughs> I don't understand. I walked in that very spot like 80 times and it never triggered the music and then it just Nothing's happening. <laughs> I don't You're going to make me choke on my salad. <laughs> Is it on a timer? Is it just going to keep doing it? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, they're on the ceiling. I get it. <laughs> I thought those just like random, like unrelated shots. That still looked really weird to be looking up to the ceiling. Yeah, the fact that his eyes were white didn't help, and then I didn't. I don't know why Leon keeps open. doing that. Like, just <gasps> doors are locked. We've made it. We've done it, Jonathan! We would have made it here way earlier if Alex didn't sad. <laughs> Wait, oh my gosh, that? it's Kleiner. He gmod crouch on end of boat. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, Gordon. I, I'm the Dr. Kleiner, you know, Gordon. <laughs> I just had some upgrade modifications because of the... This is the zombie pies, Gordon. <laughs> the zombie pies? I said zombie bites, but I guess that didn't come through clearly enough. <laughs> I wonder if we're like the first YouTubers to get to this part of the game. Because I'm pretty not sure for lack of cheating. I'm pretty sure everybody else quit before this. All right, we've arrived. This door is not attached to anything. Okay, so... Oh, it's just a first aid cutscene. Nobody's ever explained why or how Aperture managed to lose an entire boat. They're Aperture. 
You make valid argument. Okay, <laughs> great. I'm putting earlier. Wait, hold on. Let me make sure I'm recording just in case. Okay, I am recording. I'm just excited. I've never been on the Borealis. What are we doing over here, fellas? Oh, motion blur. Oh, I gotta get out of here. The freak in here. Did you just slap himself? Is this our chance to get our hands on Dr. Breen? <laughs> I know that nothing that happens to this mod is going to make any sense whatsoever or have any significance, but I'm still, like, really excited. <laughs> I'm, like, in suspense. I want to know what happens. Oh, wait. That doesn't hurt. <laughs> he slowly bounds towards me. Chill out. I I'm gonna, if I ever get a soundboard, I'm gonna put that sound on the soundboard and just play it at inappropriate <laughs> moments constantly. <laughs> Wait a second. Are these proton torpedoes? I told you they had a firepower greater than half the Starfleet. <laughs> but wait a second, I thought proton torpedoes were from Star Trek, not Star Wars. The shaft is ray shielded, so you need oh to my use gosh. proton torpedoes. Bon bon. <gasps> Ratatouille. There must be a museum nearby. Yep, some museum. Hey, are we having fish sticks today? Dude, wait a second. This is... This is the, the food room from Star Trek. The cafeteria. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> okay, a spiral gonna come around the corner next because we're this close. It's the- there's another- there's that thing too, I remember that thing. <laughs> From the like three episodes of, of, of Star Trek, the one that you had me watch that I don't yeah, remember the uh, name of. Uh, oh gosh, what's the name of it? Oh, Enterprise. Yeah. Uh, wow. Okay, how much stuff did they rip off of Star Trek? I need to know this. Was there a video game of Star Trek Enterprise? Maybe you just like straight up ripped the map. No, Leon. <laughs> you can't do that. I have a really strange attachment to this song now because of this stupid game. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I guess I can explain it to you. It's not like it matters. You'll know soon anyhow. Dr. Magnuson was right. The cargo of this ship is indeed valuable and very important. The ship carries a huge, new, and very complex teleporter that is even more powerful than the one we blew up. But it seems to be able to do much more than teleport. I would have loved to investigate it further, but there's no time. The Combine are on their way, you know. So that leaves me not much time to blow the whole ship to hell. So, Gordon, please go so that I can finish placing the explosives all around the ship. Isn't that what we're supposed to be doing anyway? Or are we just supposed to kidnap the ship? <laughs> kidnap the ship? What's it called when it's not a kid? <laughs> oh, it's just called stealing. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot there's a word for that. I guess we're not on the boat anymore. We got to go to the Borealis for like half a second. I feel like that sound effect is from Star Trek too. The door it's opening. from something sci-fi. Yeah. I don't think... <laughs> <laughs> Brisk jog. 9,000 cookies! You can fit 9,000 cookies in one box that size? I'm sure if Leon has any sense of delayed gratification in video games... <laughs> Die. 
die. Okay. Oh, that. Oh, dear. <laughs> so, what happened to the whole Borealis thing? What happened to what? What happened to the whole Borealis thing? We're. Oh, Kleiner's trying to blow it up. That's I know, but I we're know. in. We're not even in the Borealis anymore. We're in like Star Trek land. Do you expect me to know the plot? Yes. Is that one of my job expectations? Yep. Uh. I suppose I could always make something up. You know, we had to go purchase a Snickers bar for Mr. Kleiner over there. I mean, he just becomes a raven madman when he doesn't have a Snickers bar. Now, is that why he's all bloody? I mean, I assume there's no evidence to say it wasn't because of a lack of a Snickers bar. Yes, I just wasted a sniper shot on the vent. <laughs> <laughs> Professionals have standards. <laughs> I don't know why you just did like alternate dimension sniper from TF2 where he's a Texan instead of an Australian. Oh, but... because my voice hurts. <laughs> <laughs> so you just default to a Texan accent when your well, voice I hurts? I can't rasp an Australian accent when my voice hurts. <laughs> but you can rasp in Texan. Yeah. Flip the flippy. Of course it doesn't open the door that's right in front of us. No, it opens the other door in the other room. Oh, of course it opens the other door in the other room. Because that's how things work in real life. There's... there... I'm going back into Chris Wallace again. Oh, so that one controls the door right next to the panel? How do you know the password for the safe? And today that's oh obviously Oh my gosh, it's a picture true. of Breen and a big door. Yeah, we saw this earlier. And another door. Oh that my was, gosh. That was the cutscene we did. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I see where it connects. Where are we found it? In... Wait. <gasps> it's bigger on the inside. TARDIS box, TARDIS box, TARDIS box. The door just opened. Oh, it's a window. <laughs> a man of science with the ability to sway reactionary and fearful minds toward the truth. Yes. I'm talking to you. I'd like to take a moment to address you directly, Dr. Freeman, the so-called one free man. I have a question for you. How could you have thrown it all away? It staggers the mind. Do what is right, Dr. Freeman. Serve mankind. What? Shoot it. Nope, that's not what you're supposed to do. It's worth a try, right? Jump into dare it, maybe? I, dare I say it was worth a shot? <laughs> <laughs> I am very funny. <laughs> I'm a comical genius. Oh, oh, I think you we're did supposed something. to shoot both of them. What are you doing? What have you done? Hey, you told me to shoot them. You just broke reality. <laughs> I did. You no just turned sense. yourself into green liquid. <laughs> You can't Dude. just pin me. You can't pin all your problems on me. Wait. Halo music. Oh, 
Man, the time vortex is really, really low budget <laughs> these days. He <laughs> fall like action figure. <laughs> he is so rigid like an action figure. What the heck? And now he's going Princess Leia. I swear if this comes out to nothing at the end and it just like puts us back down and we're just supposed to move on. I'm getting really mixed vibes with this Halo music. That's us. Never mind. What? I don't know. Stealthy Christmas music. Are we going to have to do the thing? I think we're going to have to do the thing. Oh my gosh, he's gonna gal along me. Allow me. The way ahead is dark for the moment. Use caution, Freeman. This marks a turning point. <laughs> Evanescence starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> You can't overlay that with the another song. <laughs> Why are we being dropped into the green abyss? Oh, we're going to Vegas. We're getting dropped on a PNG of Vegas. <laughs> what? What? Why is Gordon a girl? Oh, no, wait. That's the girl. Her. Oh, you took the shade off the lamp. <laughs> <laughs> Me when belly I want to go downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Just belly flop? <laughs> yeah, I don't like walking down the stairs. It takes too long. It's... Oh! <laughs> oh, okay. To uh, repaired? Uh, what? It fixed it. It fixed it. I didn't it. even know how is it broken? We're okay now. Oh, it's the Ratatouille music. <laughs> the perfect time to play it. <laughs> I love this song so much now. I want to use it like in our videos whenever there's like something terrifying happening. <laughs> like if we ever did play a horror game like Phasmophobia or something, but we're like actually panicking, I'm just going to start this song in the background. <laughs> 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 Is that actually a song from Ratatouille? No. 
It's from Medal of Honor, but it's like, it's French jazz or something, so it sounds like Ratatouille. I don't, why, why play that song right now? Like, we're on a heroic journey to save the Earth. We just got dropped from space into Las Vegas, and this is the song he decides to play. Oh, now we're getting attacked by a helicopter. The song is still playing. <laughs> it's so relaxing. It's hard to be engaged in the combat when this is what I hear. Leon has to be a troll. This he is has a, to be. This is the last this is the last straw. This is this is too blatant. Like Maybe this is, he just coded it wrong. <laughs> why would how though like Maybe I know he how renamed to name the song files as like Medal of Honor underscore one or something. But and he just got them mixed up. But if that's the case, he had plenty of time to play test. This is Leon we're talking about. Do you think he play tested this at all? <laughs> oh, we weren't supposed to blow up the helicopter. We were just supposed to shoot it enough until the door decided to open. Oh my gosh, you've gone in a circle like four times in the last 10 seconds. I can't focus when that guy's being annoying. Kill him then. You say that like eight seconds after I killed him. No, I mean there's a guy up on the catwalk throwing grenades at you over and over and over Is again. Is he? Oh. <laughs> that was an overkill. Shut up. Wait, well, stop going in circles. It's over here. No. It's over here. Let me go. It's, it's, Let it's, me it's go. right there. It's, your, <laughs> it's the window. The window's right there. Look at it. Go. Why do you insist on going in circles? Fine, I'll go. <laughs> go. You're mean to me. No, go back. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> I want to finish this game, please. <laughs> I seem to have touched a nerve. No. Oh my Just God. crouch. Stop moving. Stop. Cease. Gently. <laughs> okay. See now I. No. Try go. It. No. Go into the house. <laughs> Continue the game. <laughs> Stop moving for me. <laughs> in the last two days, there have been strange events in the sky, in and around the North Pole. The citizens of several different countries in the Northern Hemisphere are now afraid and living in fear. <laughs> Multiple governments have started. Those mean the same thing. But as of right now, no one seems to understand these strange effects. I don't know. Maybe it has to do with the alien occupation of your planet and the constant <laughs> war between the rebels and the combine that has been raging for the past, like, ten years. Why does everybody have radios from, like, the 30s? Well, you know how everything looks all whack and fallout? <laughs> Me when I first see zombie. <laughs> you you cut out perfectly in time with when the cutscene just stopped. <laughs> Why is it in slow motion for me now? Hey, yeah, I'm pretty sure the Borealis is distorting time itself. This isn't in the Arctic anymore. We're in Las Vegas. Oh, oh you're right. Oh, wait, but no, but the effects are being... <laughs> Uh, d d making you afraid and f and scared and fear for your life all at the same time. It, as long as you're in the northern hemisphere, at least. Me when I couch, I levitate <laughs> like three <laughs> inches. <laughs> just, they're just meditating, <laughs> and it's just like I've been in meditation too long. I'm starting to ascend. <laughs> just a little bit.
there's, there's a charger. Non-existent buttons. It's a keyboard with no computer. <laughs> and extremely low lights. Oh my gosh. They might have needed some reading light. You'd never know. Oh wait, there's the computer monitor. I'm gonna get in the bubble this time if it kills me. It's not gonna kill you. It's a, it's a bubble. And we have got the mode. Bubble. bubble, 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 bubble. But no! no, no. Oh, oh, oh no. I don't understand what the significance is of all these people walking into bubbles and then exploding. <laughs> or what, what the significance is of the freaking <clears throat> dude in the apartment getting attacked by the zombies over and over again. They never explained that either. Get in the bubble. Oh, now the world's disintegrating. Let me back up. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Perfect timing! <laughs> the ball was like a centimeter away from hitting you in the face. Oh, that's what you were supposed to do. <laughs> what? You covered him in bombs! It's not like it matters. You'll know soon anyhow. Dr. Magnuson was right. The cargo of this ship is indeed valuable and we, very... You said this already. ...ship carries a huge, new, and very complex teleporter that is even more powerful than the one we blew up. But it seems to be able to do much more than teleport. I would have loved to investigate it further, but there's no time. The Combine are on their way, you know. So that leaves me not much time to blow the whole ship to hell. So, Gordon... Please go so that I can finish placing the explosives all around the ship. It's literally the same monologue he had earlier. I know. Oh, I thought he was about to run in after. <laughs> no, Dr. Breen. <laughs> oh, we're ragdolled. <laughs> he poses down the stairwell. All of this is because Alex was sad. <laughs> Let's let that sink in for a second. We're only here because Alex was sad. We could have had the secrets of the world at our disposal, but Alex was too depressed to come with us early enough. What? Tron. We're in Tron now. It's the Tron crossover. Oh, of course it is. Tron Legacy. Uh, we already had a Tron reference, though. Tron Legacy. So, Dr. Kleiner somehow kidnapped Dr. Breen, knocked him out, put him on a CAT scanner, put bombs all over him, and then blew him up. <sighs> what? Warned you, and now you leave me no choice. Please forgive me. My God. 
Scott Gordon, are you stupid? I warned you, and now you leave me no choice. Please forgive me. He, he said that earlier. Only this time it's in person and not on the monitors. Did he have to kiss the bomb or something? <laughs> Stop this. No, I wanted to shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's got chair on his head. Oh, that's a lot of blood. All from his head, because he got hit in the head with office chair. What? <laughs> Are we, Are we dead? supposed to stop him like this? I think we just died. We did! We died in the we cut didn't have God mode on. <laughs> Oh, I get it. We have to shoot him before he kisses the bomb. No, don't do it. He's kissing. Stop. He just coughed blue milk all over. Oh, wow. He's in the sitting position. Oh, now the door opens. Why, Gordon? Why didn't you listen to me? The Combines are outside the ship, and and they'll get their hands on the Combines. <laughs> did you... did you forget about the Combine? Did you think that you could stop them all by yourself? Yeah, it's worked pretty well the last couple times. You never kill all of them. You... Stupid son of, of mine. What? Okay, I guess... I don't know. Did he just reveal that he's Gordon's dad? <laughs> uh, okay, back to just things spontaneously exploding again. Oh, yeah. Uh... Fishy lights. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> <laughs> Me when Kleiner dies, fishy lights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there they are. Oh, fishy lights. Oh, fishy lights. Oh, <laughs> fishy lights. Why is Kleiner my dad? Oh my gosh, it's a giant barbershop pole. In space. It's summoning them. <laughs> it's summoning the barbers. <laughs> it's it's barbershop quartet day. Oh no. No. <laughs> Is he petting him? <laughs> he had such a happy look on his face. This storyline is more incomprehensible than literal Peter Chimera stories. Like, it's so disconnected, and there's like no explanation for anything at all. It's is just it worse random. Than Hunt down the Freeman. Hunt down the Freeman made sense. It was stupid, but it made sense. <laughs> like, it had a plot. It was a dumb plot, but it was a plot that, nonetheless, was based on some sort of logic. This isn't. <laughs> what language? You just went sudden Scandinavian on <laughs> it. Inga dinga turkin. What is by voinkings? 
Oh look, we made it. Barney. Is it Barney in his golf cart? His space golf cart? <laughs> He's gonna fly us back home diagonally. Please. <gasps> it is! No, it's not. That's Magnus. I thought it was Barney in the driver's seat of the silhouette. I thought it was just a citizen. Citizen. Did you just see that crane do a 360 no scope in like half a millisecond? Oh, I was busy paying attention to Barney. Why is Barney your favorite character Walking now? Walking up asleep. <laughs> oh, he's still... also controlling the crane. <laughs> he's still sleeping. Be the crane. Be That's why he has crane. his eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> he just bumped the <laughs> ship. What are they doing? I guess that's the technology thing. The aperture science box of bigness. That's the official term. Trademark. That's with the old-timey British car. Magnuson knows how to fly planes. No, but space golf carts, he's pretty fluent. Why are they making Gordon drive home an old <laughs> car? <laughs> they have an entire passenger jet, and they're like, okay, we're off. We, we can only fit us two in here, Gordon. You're going to have to drive home in that jalopy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, now he's not? Now he's in a... He's in a semi-truck now. Okay, I guess he only had to drive the jalopy like 10 feet to the semi-truck and then get he out. He had to drive, drive it into the semi-truck like, like maybe it's a trailer with like the Lightning McQueen style. It was all a dream, Gordon. It's 2006. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to Aperture? Oh my gosh, we're going to Aperture! Heck yeah! Wait, why are we bringing this to them? They lost it last time. Aperture's dead, aren't they? I thought, like, everybody that worked for Aperture died. Except Gladys. Everyone except the crazy potato woman. What? 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 The, the car? The, did you see the car? <laughs> it, what? <laughs> it was balancing on the tip of a pine tree. It's still there! Look at the tires at the top of the screen! <laughs> what?! <laughs> he's driving! He's going! Look at this dude, he's going. Speed. He's on the- Speed! Gordon! <laughs> Gordon Depot's fly on swing! <laughs> Gordon's had such a bad day, he's ragdolling down an entire- why? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's your turn? Is it? It's your turn. The gom- the gombine. The combine knew we were gonna bring the technology to Aperture for no reason, so they followed us. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. Gordon has a freaking death wish. <laughs> this is the part where, where Gordon just finally loses it. No. <laughs> Leon, you can't make me do it. My voice is shot. <laughs> Nobody has to know. 
Why? Oh. Why did you do it I again? The button was deactivated. This is why I don't let you play. I need to send out this message to other YouTubers. <laughs> I don't blame you one bit for not finishing this game. See, that's why I want to finish it though, because no one's finished it yet, like on camera that I know of. Yeah, we're gonna be like the first people to actually film the ending. What? <laughs> what? So apparently going down this way <laughs> makes Gordon Freeman self-implode across the gap. Oh, there's mines. Okay. At least there's a logical explanation for once instead of like, oh, this is the part where Gordon gets the ability to just explode whenever he wants. What what flag is this? Germany with a little bit of flair. Germany with a little bit of masonry. Yeah. Come on, Gordon. Gordon, run! Get out of here! No. Why'd you make me come in here in the first place? Oh no. Alex needs our help. Oh no. What do you mean leave you here? We weren't down there to begin with. Okay, so I assume we oh, have yeah. to choose who we want to be alive, and I'm choosing Alex. You see, this way, we guarantee that Gordon gets the girl, because Barney's out of the picture. I <laughs> like the way you think, but it's sad that Barney had to go. Wait, now she's gonna be even more sad. <laughs> you know, I... look, you now she's walking away all sad. Don't do it. You missed. She said something, but I didn't hear. It's probably good. It was probably an expletive. <laughs> I'm gonna do the same thing and see what happens. Me when die. <laughs> he like gently sits down on the ground. <laughs> that was brutal. <laughs> you don't really? say. <laughs> Cricket sound. <laughs> Friend dies. That was brutal. Walks away. <laughs> you can see where her priorities lie. She doesn't, doesn't give a crap about Barney. She just cares about her dad and Gordon. Yeah, when her dad died, she just, like, almost let the freaking world end. Who's... Who's doing that? These Do guys? What? Oh, those guys. Uh, they oh want... my gosh, what? It's like... <laughs> Fistful of frags assets. I, I swear we just got teleported back to the Oregon Trail. You're not looking so well. That's it. I'm pissed. Lost another one. Why didn't they leave with the rest They're of the dying combine? All around me. Their leader's gone. Why the hell are they sticking around? <laughs> Hello, here is your favorite presenter from Radio Rebel, and I have some very important incoming news. From a reliable source, we have heard that the rumors are true. The uprising is well on its way. Large groups of Combine have left the Earth. Here and there are still small groups left behind because their teleport stations have been destroyed or captured by the rebels. All this was set in motion on the North Pole several days ago, where the Combine had found the Aperture Science Research Vessel, the Borealis. 
It is assumed that the Borealis contained a much larger teleporter, while the Combine have yet to perfect localised teleportation as the Black Mesa and Aperture scientists have. Such a teleporter would make it possible for the Combine to teleport directly back to the Combine overworld and flood the Earth with their large, powerful forces. It seems there was a fight between two scientists named Dr. Gordon Freeman and Dr. Isaac Kleiner. Dr. Freeman tried to prevent Dr. Kleiner from blowing up the Borealis. Without knowing it, he got help from the Vortigaunts, whose home world was invaded by the Combine. Now confirmed sources tell us that Dr. Kleiner was not in his right mind at the time due to an infection by headcrabs or zombie Combine soldiers. The role of the Vortigaunts was for quite some time not clear, because they did blow up part of this teleporter. It now seems they only wanted us to have some parts of this machine. From Dr. Wallace Breen, the former head of Black Mesa and later Earth's administrator under the Combine, we have no news of any kind. It is unknown if he escaped or got killed in action. It seems he has vanished. Resistance leaders have asked listeners to bring captured Combine to the center of larger cities and not take matters into their own hands. And although most people have followed this request, we are also getting messages of executions of Combine on large scales. <laughs> this is a vacation montage. set up in the graveyard <laughs> we did it this game makes me want to cuss <laughs> I, I don't say that often the perfect this, the perfect ending <laughs> this makes me want to cuss so bad this game makes me want to say a bad word <laughs> i am a 20 year old man who does not swear but <laughs> let me tell you this is cutting it very close technical advice baltic forever needs to be condemned <laughs> Forever. Anime show face pose. Baltic fa in Haver or low Philip. Fox surf <laughs> spy maps Baltic. They couldn't even get the credits right. <laughs>